Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would show you some clips of the absolute disaster that was my house the day after Ava's birthday party. We had so much fun. She had just her closest friends over and we also went to Six Flags, but the weekend got away from us and we did not have a ton of time to clean up because we spent so much time playing with our friends and making memories. So I wanted to get everything cleaned up, starting with taking this balloon arch down. I love to do these for all of my kids' birthdays. And even though we weren't really at the house much when we were celebrating her birthday, I still wanted her to feel special and loved. And these are just so much fun for me to do. Bathing in the light that you share You're like the sun Who am I to think how would it be If you were mine I've been walking with my shades on for so long I can't seem to get them back on Cause ooh, how I fell in love Couldn't see it coming best in my stereo I can feel it coming you So if you guys watch my last video, y'all know in that I was talking about how I was really wanting a passenger van and I didn't know if Mark was fully on board, although he would really not mind whatever I ended up doing. And you guys, I happened to find one online that was like a really, really good deal. And so we totally got it. And if y'all follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but I am obsessed with it. I love it so much and it has just made me really, really happy. I've only had it for what, like less than a week now and I'm so excited to take it on all our trips this summer and really anywhere and everywhere. It's so easy to drive. I thought it would feel like a tank or a huge bus, but it's actually really easy to drive. I got the Nissan NV 3500. It's a used car. It's very well loved and used, but that's totally fine. And it is not super fancy on the inside or anything. I'm actually going to be doing like a little car tour over on my vlogging channel just to show y'all. Cause I know so many of y'all were like, Oh, what does the passenger van look like on the inside? And I was kind of curious too, but I will be doing that over there. So if you guys want to see it, make sure you're subscribed to that channel. And that's always linked down in my description box. If you are new around here, I just wanted to take a second and introduce myself. My name is Joanna and I started this channel about two years ago just because I truly enjoyed cleaning and organizing. I found myself doing it all the time. So I figured why not start filming it and provide a little bit of motivation for y'all along the way too. And it has just grown into this wonderful thing. We have an amazing community here of women and even some men. And I just love chatting with y'all every single day. I am married. I've been married for about 12 and a half years to Mark. And we have four kids, Ava, Kate, Max, and Bo. Our oldest is 10 and our youngest is five. So we do stay pretty busy in life, but a huge part of my life life is my family here on YouTube. So I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who have been with me for a while. And I hope any of y'all watching today for the first time would consider subscribing. I would love to have you here with me. War is a four-letter word. Trust yourself and you get hurt. Tell yourself it's so absurd For letter words For letter words I hate it when you're like this You never get excited Did you get 
get struck by lightning Don't hide it, no Don't hide it, no Another huge reason I started my channel is just to show all other moms out there that you're not alone and that these little tedious mundane tasks that we do every single day that you might think nobody notices are important and your job is important no matter what you do, whether you work in the home or outside of the home, whether you get help or don't get help. What you're doing is important and it matters and raising kids is hard sometimes there's not really a lot of breaks and sometimes you don't get noticed for the things that you do but i notice you i see you out there i know because i'm living it every single day and we got this we're in this together and sometimes if you just survive the day that's enough but at the same time, I like to push myself a little bit harder each day and just get done what I can. Sometimes I make little to-do lists for myself and check them off. Just whatever I can get done to make myself feel accomplished because that makes me happy. That fills my cup up. And when my cup is filled up, I feel like I can pour out and fill up other people's cups too. Did you get struck by lightning? Don't hide it, no. Don't hide it, no. So seeing that cooler over there reminds me of our day at Six Flags because we did pack a picnic lunch. We actually ended up eating the picnic lunch for dinner though, but I don't know if any of you guys have been to Six Flags over Georgia. Um, one of my favorite places to go, it's really fun. I mean, it's no Disney World or anything like that, but it is a fun place to go for the day. And I have not been in a couple years and they had some newer rides, which were super fun, but I rode the Scream Machine, which I used to ride that ride as a kid all the time, and I feel like it did not affect me at all if you've never been there. It's just this ride that like goes up and down all these hills, but it is rough. It is so rough, and I feel like if I ever want to feel my age, that is the ride that I need to ride because I had a migraine for about 100 hours after I rode that. I felt like, I don't know, I felt like the inside of my body left the inside of my body. It was painful. But the kids were all saying how it was their favorite ride. I was like, who even are y'all? My whole body hurts. But I didn't want to show it because I had to be tough and not old. So, mm -hmm. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. Let me just hold your hand. We do have a church pew in our living room if you haven't seen my videos before, yes, and it does tend to become a catch-all area as well as this island as well as about 40 million other places in the house, but I tend to kind of put all the stuff over on the pew that I know it needs to be put somewhere, typically upstairs. And while I'm cleaning, my kids will come over and grab whatever they can and take it upstairs or Mark will put it wherever it needs to go. This is Bo's favorite toy to play with. My mom got it for him for his birthday and he loves it so much. It's like the kinetic sand and I don't know, he loves it. So he is really good about cleaning it up, but since I was filming, I just wanted to do it and I actually kind of like playing with it too. It is so much fun. There's a new part of me, part I want you to see. You haven't seen the best of me, I know. You can try to fool yourself. Like you love somebody else But you and him will never feel The way we do
The past couple weeks over here have been pretty eventful. First of all, we've had some birthdays and just the normal routine stuff going on. But on top of that, Mark got his new to him car, which unfortunately somebody ran into him on the interstate, two people actually. And that was kind of a big ordeal that was so, so unfortunate and made me really sad, but he's okay. The other two drivers are okay. It's just very damaged cars that were in the process of getting fixed. But anyways, he still has a new to him car, just is getting fixed. And then I got my new passenger van. So y'all know how it is when you're cleaning out cars, we traded in his car and then we're still in the process of doing that with mine. But we have all the fun stuff in the car, like this picture from his senior year of high school. I kept that in my van. I just love it so much. I'm probably gonna put it in my newer van too, but we just have all the cords and all the random things that go in cars that like, do you really need them in there? Who knows, but we have them just in case. Spending the days on my own Then repeats this For weeks to come I don't care what I miss Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching For my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs But now It's begun Sometimes you just don't have time to do everything. And for me, I will end up sweeping or vacuuming, but I rarely have time to fully devote to mopping. And so I do actually come back at the end of this video, which is the next day and or two days later, I think, and vacuum and mop all downstairs, like the whole entire thing, which takes a little while, but it's so worth it. And my floors look so much better and they smell so much better afterwards. I do try to have the kids mostly keep their clothes upstairs because that's where I do all their laundry, but occasionally they will get dressed for school downstairs just if we're in a hurry or sometimes when they come in and their clothes are really dirty from playing outside or if you're gay and you jump in a swimming pool with all your clothes on. Not really. She didn't jump all the way in, but she was kind of splashing around with one of the neighbors in the pool so she had soaking wet clothes so that's what I was doing was just gathering those up and running them upstairs I'm gonna start a load in just a second but as I was on my way up the stairs I could visibly see the spider webs in between the banister like the railing and I knew I needed to get this under control it is so crazy 
we have a bunch of spiders where we live anyway, like all kinds of creatures. We basically live in the woods. So I'm used to seeing all those types of things, but the webs that they create inside are not the most fun. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gonna make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write our story. Wanna shape the Kate came in the other day into their laundry room while I was doing laundry and she was like, mama, do you like doing laundry? And I mean, I kind of thought about it just for a second and I answered her, yes, I really do like doing laundry. As weird as that sounds, I'm not always on top of things. I'll definitely fall way, way behind, but maybe it's just the side of me that loves to have things organized. And if I'm being completely honest, done my way because I just love doing things a certain way. Eventually, obviously, I will give control up of that. And both of my girls know how to do a full load of laundry from beginning to end. The boys could definitely learn very soon. They're just a little bit younger. So they can help me for sure. And they always help me put their clothes away and stuff. But there's just such a huge part of me that really, really enjoys it. And it's like the sign I have up in my laundry room, like there's going to come a day where the laundry hampers are empty and these days are going to be so missed. So every time I'm doing laundry, I'm just reminded of that. Like I am so happy that I have children that I can do laundry for and then I have a family that I can do laundry for. It makes me feel needed and it also just makes me happy. You guys, doing these voiceovers in a house full of people sometimes is just comical. I have got to get on a better schedule where I'm doing these when my kids are in school and not on a Sunday night before I'm posting the video. But it was so loud inside my house, so I decided I'm just going to go out to my van for a little bit because it's super quiet in there. Got in, closed the door, and this bird was just singing his sweet little heart out outside, and it was so loud and distracting, I could not concentrate. So... I finally came back inside. I'm in Mark's claw The kids are finally in bed, which is good. Hopefully I can get these done because these are my most favorite part of editing my videos is doing this because it's my way of communicating with y'all. So it's been a busy week and I have not been quite on top of things as I would have liked. So note to self, do not try to record voiceovers on Sunday when your whole family is home. I've just got to get better about doing these during the week. I really want to go live soon over on our vlogging channel just to chat with y'all. Probably just me. Mark and I will do it again soon because we used to do those Thornton Thursdays and those were so fun. But I just want to be able to catch up with y'all and chat. So maybe look out for that sometime this week or next week. I'll try to give you a little bit of a heads up because I know everybody has super 
busy schedules, but I just love being able to talk to so many of y'all all at the same time. So let me know if there's a day that might work best for you, or if you're just good with any day, I'll try to do it possibly sometime this week. I'm driving in the moonlight. I am looking for signs tonight. I'm driving in the moonlight. I am looking for signs all night. I just want to see your strike cars. You are everything I need, love. I'm driving in the moonlight. I am looking for signs. I don't really always feel like it, but then sometimes I'll see clips of my hair and realize that it is finally growing. I kind of feel like it's taken forever. At the beginning of the year last year, well, around March, I got my hair all chopped off and there is a small part of me that really liked it, but then the bigger part of me regretted it a ton and I was super sad and it feels like my hair used to grow so, so fast. And then after I chopped it off, it stopped growing. So it's taken about a year or more for it to get back to like the normal length that I had it before I cut it. But anyways, I'm going to keep letting it grow and just see what happens. I came into Ava's closet because I wanted to do the same thing in her closet that I did in Kate's and I let them pick out the color of their hangers, but this has just been so good for us. Y'all, these hangers are from Target and I wanted each of my kids to have their own color. So Ava has this really pretty light green. Kate picks them at Walmart. They're, it's like this pretty pinkish color, almost mauve. And then Max has black and Bo has white. And when I'm doing the laundry, I just hang it right up on the correct color hanger. And then when I'm putting stuff away or when the kids are putting stuff away, they know exactly where it goes. So I had run out of these hangers. So I ran to Target and grabbed a few more packs and had exactly what I needed to finish this out. And it's just crazy how much better it looks when all of the hangers are the same color. Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just belong me You don't need no space Just follow me Like a mirror you reflect me Like a Friday night on the weekend and it was getting very close to the kids bedtimes in fact it was kind of past their bedtime so I was trying to rush and get all their clothes put away all I needed to do was put Kate's and Max's and Bo's clothes away in their closet and then wipe down the girls bathroom because it has really really needed it in fact their toilet needs it too I did not have time to get to that and then I'm definitely going to be cleaning the boys bathroom in my next video because it for sure needs it but there are only so many hours in a day and sometimes you just have to get done what you can and forget about the rest I'm not leaving without a fight no you're always on my mind you're on my mind turn around hold me tight turn around and we will be all right don't you be afraid just follow me you don't need no space just follow me like a mirror you reflect me like a friend I don't know if I've talked about it on here, maybe just over on Instagram, but I did turn all of those shirts several weeks back because that was bothering me so badly. I wanted them facing me when I came into the closet, so I turned them all. It's just something so small and to so many people it wouldn't matter, but I love the way that it is now. <laughs> I 
I got this cute little, well, I'm pretty sure it's a utensil holder. I got it from Walmart, but I bought it with the intention of using it up here in the girl's bathroom. Ava is still cleaning her ears every night because she got them pierced recently, and I just wanted somewhere to put their toothpaste and their mouthwash that was easily accessible to them. So I thought it looked really cute in here. I've been going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down You can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid You're glowing in the dark Okay, all of you mamas out there, and I want to do this again when it's like a few weeks before Father's Day, but since Mother's Day is coming up, I am so curious to know what is your most favorite gift that you've ever gotten for Mother's Day, or maybe even something creative that you thought of and gave to your own mom, because I know a lot of us out there need ideas, and sometimes you can only search on Pinterest for so long, and you're just tired of looking. So I know I would love ideas not only for what to get my mom and my mother-in-law, but also what I might want to ask for for myself, even though I would pretty much take a trip over anything in the world. I just want to like travel or be with Mark or be with my family but it's also fun to get little things every now and then too. So y'all just type out any and all ideas and favorite gifts in the comments and then people can scroll through and maybe get ideas for their moms too. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark. Okay, now it is the next day and what's crazy is the mess that you saw at the beginning of this video. Obviously it was cleaned up by me, but since then there were tons more messes made that were cleaned up by Mark and the kids and also me, but Mark got the house back into shape so I could come down and just focus on the floors. I was upstairs editing the beginning of this video and he was so sweet. He texted, he was like, okay, everything's pretty much cleaned up because he knew I wanted to do the floors. So that is what I'm focusing on now, just vacuuming everything, going around, making sure everything's picked up and tidied up and then mopping, which the floor needed so badly. Okay, those of you who have been with me for a while, y'all know what my living room looks like right now and like the seating in there. We just have the sectional and the one gray chair. And I know a couple videos back I mentioned maybe getting another gray chair just to kind of even things out. But we have noticed that we definitely need more seating in the living room. And I don't think adding one more chair will make that big of a difference as far as how many people can sit in there. So I'm kind of maybe considering getting another couch, maybe not a sectional, but just a couch and put it in front of the windows. Like it wouldn't cover up the windows or anything 
just to have an area for a lot of people to be able to sit down and talk. We don't really have to have the TV be the focal point in our living room. I'm not worried about that at all. And we're still considering moving the TV to the wall anyway. But if you guys were me, what would you do? If you knew that you wanted more seating, would you throw another couch in there? And if you did, would you want it to match the sectional or would you want it to be some funky different type of color? Let me know your thoughts on that. And now I am mopping and I'm just adding a little bit of Tide detergent. I know that's kind of weird, but it works so well. It smells so good and it's just a super easy mixture. You don't even really have to think about it. I just mixed it with some super hot water and I try to make sure that I wring out the mop really well because I don't want to mop with like a soaking wet mop head. Is it enough finally? Give it all up, set me free. You already took all the best of me. Is it enough finally? Give it all up, set me free. We have engineered hardwood floors and I really think if I had to pick my most favorite thing to use on them, it's this O Cedar Spin Mop. I got mine from Amazon, but I know you can find them at Target and I think Home Depot, maybe a couple other places, but I love using it because you can put it up on the baseboards too. And for some reason, it just feels like it gets a really good deep clean. So if you're looking for something like that for your floors, I highly, highly suggest this. And you guys, I'm just so thankful that you are here with me in this video, that you even still watch my channel after being here for two years. I know there's a million other places you could be right now. So I just want to say thank you. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different